Hi there, I'm James Blue, General Manager of BusCon, and I'm here with Brent Maitland, who is Director of Marketing and Product Planning at MCI. Great to have you back at the show, Brent. It's always, yeah. always a pleasure yeah, to see you. Great, great to be here. So there's a lot going on at MCI at the moment, and it's all about, all about innovation. So There's a lot of it. Tell us, tell us a little bit about what, you, what you're showing at BusCon this year. Well, it was nice. Actually, this morning we were able to accept an innovation award that, uh, that you guys handed out. Yep. So that, that was pretty cool. And I think that just kind of links into a lot of what we have been doing. So on the show floor here, we've got our new J3500. Uh, we've got our really our first demo coach or pilot coach that we've been showing to customers. Yep. This is really the first show that we, big show that we've had it at that mm -hmm. people have really been able to see it on a show floor. So that's really exciting. And we've had a lot of customers say, hey, you know, we're, we're running the J coach, we're running a 45 footer. There's been other options on the market for 35s. And finally, we're in there to be able to offer people the commonality yeah. and the same driver experience that's that's uh, really exciting. So that goes into production in 2019. Okay. So and right at the beginning of the year, we'll be doing deliveries on that coach. Great. So you're yeah. already taking orders? We are taking orders, yeah, and that's going going really well for us, yeah. Excellent. And you've also recently opened a, an innovation center. We have. So we're owned by New Flyer. We're actually on the floor here with New Flyer. Mm -hmm. uh, and next door also, Arbach as well has joined the family. So. Really three great vehicle brands under yep. the new flyer uh, group umbrella. But as part of that, in Anniston, Alabama, we opened the Innovation Center, the Vehicle Innovation Center. And really that's designed to be a showpiece for uh, not just all of the innovations, but also specifically the move to electric. Right. Uh, we're committed now to making a move to battery electric. New Flyer has been a leader in that space. Mm -hmm. um, so we can take, whether it's private or public uh, operators down to that facility, show them all the components, how they work, they learn about the both the architecture of the vehicle and a lot about the infrastructure that's needed to right. effectively run an electric, uh, whether it's coach or transit bus in their fleet. And that's really helped to open the eyes of a lot of people who are making the move towards electric. So yeah. we're excited for that. So if people want to take a visit, how do they go about that? Yeah, they, uh, I'll give you all my contact information, <laughs> okay. but we're going to be, uh, we do periodic events down there. We set them up individually. If yeah. people are very serious about it, then we, we want to make sure we take the time to educate them because it's a lot more than just buying a vehicle. Mm -hmm. It's all about thinking through the system and how, how things recharge. Do we have the power necessary to recharge them right. uh, or charge them? So all those things may, are going to make it effective. And when you look at how MCI has to make the transition, let's say from diesel to electric, yeah. we built our reputation on being a workhorse vehicle in people's fleet. It has to run in the application it was designed for. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the same as we move to electric. Right. And we can't say, hey, we delivered you a bus, but you don't have the ability to charge it. Good luck. Yeah. So sure. we've got to help them think through the whole system. and. A new flyer has really helped to put an infrastructure team together that can help do that, and they, they work closely with us as well. Okay. So great. also down in Anison, we'll we'll talk about things like our advanced driver assistance system. So at the same time, you're on the road to autonomy, vehicle autonomy that people talk about. Right. And uh, we're we're a leader in those systems as we take those stepping stones to move towards autonomy, so we can help educate people on that. Okay, that's well. great. Yeah. So, I mean, we're seeing a lot of um, growth in electric buses, in, in particularly in the in the transit right. space. Do you, do you see that happening quickly in the motor coach side of things? I mean, obviously, the, we, the, the price of a vehicle yeah. is, is 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 higher with a, an electric bus. Yeah. How do you see that going? The people who want it really want it. California, uh, certainly, California regulatory environment is is going to drive that significantly. Yeah. Um, and there are just certain organizations that want to be on the forefront of zero emissions. Mm -hmm. And so I think for a segment of the market, it's gonna move quickly. Yeah. There's already people who are using electric vehicles, uh, already have sort of this established uh, protocol for how they run. Mm -hmm. And so I think that we're gonna see it, you know, for that piece quickly. For maybe the rest of the United States, people who are doing really long run cross country stuff, it's gonna take a while before right you can get that sort of range necessary yeah. for it. But the more, the more yeah. R&D going into and, it. And, and yeah, the cost is higher. We'll see over time, costs will probably come down. But right now it's roughly two times the normal vehicle cost right. for an electric vehicle. Okay. So it is a commitment that people have to make yeah. financially and with their, their operations to be sort of the leaders in getting into 
uh, electric fleets. That's great. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it's exciting times at MCI and yeah, New Flyer is. and Arbok. So yeah, it is. And we appreciate all the support that you give us here at BusCon. You bet. You had a good show? Yeah, the show's great. We've had uh, really good traffic coming through. It's a nice show here because we get a mix of, let's say, private operators as well as public agencies that are coming. So it's a nice blend of people coming through. Yeah. And it's good to be able to show off the new J3500 that, that we're able to. Awesome. Well, we certainly appreciate you being yeah, here and uh, look forward to more success with you. Thanks, James. Thanks very much. You bet. Cheers. Cheers.